What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is 9446 Network, back with another Diecast review. And today, we are going to be reviewing Austin Dillon's 2021 test car. It's a next-gen for 2022 Wave 2, but this car tested in 2021 with this livery. Uh, Chevy Camaro test car. And yes, this is the number 3. And it almost looks like it could be actually a paint scheme that you can run. In fact, this is what I thought they were going to run for Austin Dillon. Uh, but they ended up changing it to some 50th anniversary design. But nonetheless, still cool to have the die cast. So we're going to get this one out of the box. Wave 2 of 2022. Pretty interesting cars in this one. Mostly test vehicles. And of course, one of them was an actual paint scheme. Here's the sticker. And of course, a Dale Jr. car. So without further ado, and this is going to be the interesting video of the three. And you're going to see why it is that way. Here you go. And I'm going to get that other car to compare it to right away. Uh, for the big point that I was going to make about these cars. Um... Get the other one. Here, you're gonna see this interesting point, and I might make this the first thing I do. You're gonna find this really interesting. It's like, hmm, why did they do this? Uh, so you're looking at these two cars together, right? What would be the difference? Um, you, you'd figure they'd be produced the same, right? Not quite. Look at the undercarriage of the Austin Dillon, which is on the left, and the Stenhouse on the right. One was produced with the black, and one was produced with the white. And it looked to me that all of the Austin Dillon ones had the white chassis. So very, very interesting that they made that decision right there. Uh, but as you can tell, we're going to start this diecast review right away for you diecast fans. So here it is. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, so number three. RCR, you got Chevy Camaro ZL1, and the Sunoco logos under it. Tracker Boats, Bass Pro Shops, and it looks like there is a weird scuff on the Bass Pro logo. As you can tell, a little bit of mark on the hood. Ah, oh, well, this is what it is. Uh, you got Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, number three, Bass Pro Shops, Austin Dillon, Dow, Get Biofuel, uh, Easy Go, Lucas Oil, uh, Sherwin Williams, Coca Cola. Tracker off-road, which looks kind of crooked, but it's kind of how the mold is making it look. Huck fishing, and of course, work rise. And yeah, like I said about the spoilers, uh, you can see it's got some shipping going on with it. Look, man, these spoilers, they, they might have to improve them because they are shipping it really easily. Um, I did not do that. It is fresh from the package that way. Same with all the others. You got Akuma... Tracker Off-Road, Bass Pro Shops number 3, ZL1 Camaro, once again with the big, big Camaro logo. It's kind of big, big for me. Uh, I got Tracker Off-Road right there, and Bass Pro, which is hugging the roof rail right there, number 3. And for the diecast itself, it's spray-painted black. It's got the white number 3 with the black outline to it, and the orange outline with the white number fill-in, as you can tell on the sides. And the paint scheme really didn't change that much from the 2021 to the 2022 uh, test car. Uh, almost the same paint scheme. I mean, they kind of did change it a little bit, but it's really not that much to make a proper comparison. And because I really don't want to get up in the middle of the video and compare the 2021 to this. Uh, but it's almost the same paint scheme, as you can tell. It's got the, the wrapping around the headlights, black spoiler, black splitter. And the way it's wrapped around the headlights, it's kind of like a face mask. And they kind of did this with the Hendrick cars. They did like a wrap around the headlights and stuff, which is really, really cool. Nice outlines to the OEM details. And of course, something weird with this wrap, because as you can tell, look at this side. Look how much orange is showing compared to that side. It's really all supposed to look like how it looks over here. White outline under it, but this kind of wraps a little bit over the white. Hmm. Makes me wonder how they wrapped this style paint scheme. Fun fact, uh, Kelly Blue Book Chase Elliott car has almost an identical template besides a couple of changes, which is really interesting. That's going to be an interesting car to review when it comes. You got the hood vents right there with Spass Pro, and of course you got that front wrap with that outline with the orange. All plain on the back and the sides, but on the roof, that's where the day glow orange continues over the car. And yes, it's going to look different when you have yours in your collection. You're going to notice it got that orange roof on it uh, with the white outlines to it across the whole roof lines and that's really the paint scheme oh yeah that's right get biofuel here for the gas tank so you got a biofuel logo there and a biofuel logo here 
Okay. Uh, the rims are black. Not really much you could do. I don't know if it's me or these wheels look kind of small for this car. And that's kind of with all the next gens. Kind of we have a wheel arch gap. That's a little weird. But it's not a big deal. Cars roll better, obviously. Um, no working suspension. Okay, thank God. Because I remember with Gen 6, it was a really bad issue with the chassis and wheels. But the next gen, it seems to be getting better. Here's the front of the car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof. Here's the left side. And here's the chassis. And that is the Austin Dillon 2021 test car that's on the 2022 mold because this is how it ran. The 2022 Camaro Z01 1LE used under license. And yeah, we have, we've had a lot of Camaros <laughs> next gen reviews. Uh, we'll be getting a Mustang review soon. Uh, the Cole Custer test car and a few others that are going to be reviewed as well. So thank you guys for checking out this Dad Cash review. Comment, like, and subscribe. What do you guys think of this? So always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals in your diecast. We'll see you guys in the next one, folks. Next-gen diecasts are here, folks, with many more to come.